What's up guys? Welcome to Civil PE Review where we're going to solve problems like you might see on the Civil Professional Engineering exam. And we're going to do it in six minutes or less. Let's get right to it with the question of the day. Today's problem is from Water Resources and it states, Water flows through a sudden contraction in a horizontal plane passing from a 60 centimeter pipe to a 30 centimeter pipe. The pressure on the upstream side of the contraction is 285 kilopascals and on the downstream side is 265 kilopascals. Neglecting minor losses, the flow rate in the pipe is most nearly A 0.1 cubic meters per second, B 0.3 cubic meters per second, C 0.5 cubic meters per second, or D 0.7 cubic meters per second. All right, first thing I always like to do is draw a little picture so we can wrap our mind around what's going on here. We got a pipe, goes through a contraction like so. And this being water, after all, we'll label everything using blue. Flow rate going in this direction, coming out over here. We've got diameter one over here equal to 60 centimeters. Pressure one is equal to 285 kilopascals. And downstream we got D2 equal to 30 centimeters. And P2 equal to 265 kilopascals. Alright, we know from continuity equation that Q1 is going to be equal to Q2, which we will refer to both as just Q, which is what we're ultimately trying to solve for here. Also, conservation of energy states that energy at 1 is going to be equal to energy at 2. So we'll go ahead and expand that out. We got Z1 elevation plus pressure 1 over gamma plus velocity 1 squared over 2G is equal to Z2 plus P2 over gamma plus V2 squared over 2G. And you notice we're not including any head loss terms. That's because we're told to neglect the minor loss of the contraction and the pipe. All we're looking at is the contraction in the pipe. So there's virtually no link. Therefore, there's no friction loss. Therefore, no head loss. Also, we know that it is a horizontal pipe. So we know that Z1 is equal to Z2. So we can just eliminate both of those terms right off the bat. All right, looking at that problem, we know P1 and P2, we know gamma and we know G. We don't know velocity though, but what we do know is that velocity is equal to the flow rate divided by area. And area of a pipe is equal to pi d squared over four. So we'll go ahead and solve for the area upstream and downstream. Uh, area one is equal to pi times 0.6, that's 0.6 meters squared over 4, which is equal to 0 0.283 square meters. And area 2 is equal to pi times 0 0.3 squared over 4, which is equal to 0 0.071 square meters. Okay, now if we go back to our energy equation up here and we substitute Q over A in for every V term, that equation becomes P1 over gamma plus Q squared over 2GA1 squared is equal to P2 over gamma plus Q squared over 2GA2 squared. Now you probably notice that the only variable in this equation that we do not know the value of is Q. So from here on out, it's basically just algebra, plug and chug. So we'll go ahead and rearrange our terms first. We got P1 minus P2 over gamma is equal to 1 over 2GA2 squared minus 1 over 2GA1 squared. All that times Q squared. And we'll jump over here and start subbing in some numbers. So P1 minus P2, that is 285 minus 265 kilopascals divided by 9.81 kilonewtons per cubic meter. It's an important number to know. You might as well put that in the old memory bank. 
that is all equal to 1 over 2 times 9.81 times 0 0.071 squared minus 1 over 2 times 9.81 times 0.283 squared. All of that times Q squared. Uh, those numbers reduce down to 2.039 is equal to 10.11 minus 0.636 Q squared. And the big reveal, Q is equal to 0.46 cubic meters per second. Answer choice, C. Alright, if you have any questions or comments about how we solved that problem, make sure you leave them below. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos. Thanks and good luck studying for the exam.